Hey guys, so today's video is going to be on a winter skincare routine. I figured I would do this now before winter gets over and I don't have, like it would be stupid to do this in the summer because I have a winter and I have a summer skincare routine. So I'm just going to get started on how I take my makeup off first. So I have a lot of steps. Either I'll just use these makeup wipes all over my face. So these are just the Neutrogena Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelettes. Ultra Soft Gloss Pented Formula Dissolves All Traces of Makeup and Even Waterproof Mascara. So this is the Neutrogena Makeup Wipes. There is 28 pre-moistened towelettes. These are $7.99. They're by Neutrogena. I love these things. If I, if I use these, I usually take off my makeup, my eye makeup first with them. And then I'll go over my face. And then I'll take my... Neutrogena Naturals Fresh Cleansing Makeup Remover and this is like a liquid and it just completely removes makeup and gently cleanses her freshly clean skin. This is awesome. So after I use the makeup wipes, I'll go in and use this and I'll use this with exfoliating rounds. I love these things. These are Swispers Cotton Rounds Exfoliating and there's 80 in a pack. They're micro bead surface for gentle exfoliation and makeup removal. I got these makeup removal, that's what I said, oh my goodness, and these are like so awesome, they're like only like $2 at Walmart, that's where I got them, so I'll just take one of these, and the reason why I love these is I'll show you why, they have like a soft side right here, and on this side they have like little beads, so it's like rough, this is great for using with a cleanser or like an exfoliator, that's why I love those. And then, so I'll take one of those and I'll put a little bit of this on there, wet my face, and I'll just take the thing and go all the way on my face. And that really gets all of the dirt off my face and makeup. So this is really awesome. This is probably like $7.99 too. These products I'll be talking about aren't cheap, so yeah. Um, so the next thing I'll be talking about is a Bior Free Your Pores Deep Pore Charcoal Cleanser. Now, if I have like a lot of acne, I'll use this after I take my makeup off. And this is something that you're not going to want to use all the time because it will dry out your skin. So this is $7.99 too. You can get this at Walmart or Rite Aid or any drugstore. This is awesome if you have like really bad acne breakouts going on and you just need to get rid of them. This will really take them away. And the next thing I'll do if I don't have any breakouts, any problems on my skin, I'll use this Morning Burst Skin Brightening Facial Cleanser by Clean and Clear. This is what it looks like. It's with bursting bees, wakes you up, cleanses to brighten the appearance of your skin. So this just brightens your skin. Now if you notice, my skin is really bright. That's why. I use this all the time. Now if I don't plan on cleaning my face at all that day and I just don't have any makeup on or anything and I'm just about to like go out real quick or... I'm about to put makeup on and I don't want to wash my face. I'll take this this Neutrogena Clear Pore Oil Eliminating Estrogen. Effectively treats and helps prevent breakouts without over drying. Salicylic acid and acne medication. Dermatologist recommended. So this is like a little estrogen. You put on a cotton pad and you just put it over your face and you let it dry. And then you go in with a toner, which I'm going to show you next. So it says clear skin starts with clear pores. And this is like, it just like cleans your skin if you're not going to want to wash your face. So that's that. And after I wash my face, I always go in with like a Hydra Fresh Toner, which is like a hydrating toner. I highly recommend this if you have dry skin. This is the L'Oreal Paris Dermal Expertise Hydra Fresh Toner. Refreshes a nice flash. This makes my skin feel really soft. It's awesome. Like I highly recommend this. It's really, really good. Now, let's see, and after I do my toner, my face wash, I'll go in with a moisturizer. Always moisturize your face, especially in the winter time. Clean and Clear Dual Action Moisturizer, oil-free moisturizes dry skin, helps and treats and helps prevent pimples. So this is just the Clean and Clear lotion I use after I wash my face and put toner on. This really makes my skin soft. And. If I'm going to do a face mask, I usually use this in the winter time. It's the Bliss Triple Oxygen Instant Energizing Mask. It's engineered as a stand-in for 
our spa's world famous facial. Releases oxygen molecules and detoxifies. A super quick fix for dull, tired skin. This smells really good. It lathers up on your face like a bubble bath. It smells so good. This is actually really expensive. It's probably like $30. I'll link everything down below so that way you guys can go find this stuff. And if I'm having terrible pores, I'll use this Bosca Illuminating Black Mask. I got this at Sephora. You can get this at Sephora, I think Ulta too. This is a $34 mask. I'll only put it on my nose, around my chin, and like over here and up here a little bit. If I put this all over my face, it'll be a lot, and this is really expensive. I think this is a full size, so I'm not really sure. Um, so yeah, that's what I do for masks. And if I really want to do like a deep exfoliation, I'll use my PMD. Now this tool is very expensive. It's like $300. It's awesome. If you can get one, I highly recommend this thing. It does miracles. It takes off the dead skin layers of your skin. That way you have a new skin layer after you take off. It's great. This makes your makeup go on so much smoother. I love this thing. I love it so much. Like I would die if this broke. Um, there's another there's another makeup remover I use. The Oil Free Eye Makeup Remover by Neutrogena. Effective and gentle removes even waterproof mascara. This stuff's awesome if you're just having trouble taking off your mascara or like really hard make eye makeup. This you just put this on a cotton ball and you just rub it all over your eyes and then it magically it's gone. And this is probably like $7.99 too. Now, now on to makeup I use in the winter time. So I usually use the Revlon Color Stay Makeup, normal to dry skin. This is a 24 hour makeup. Always use a foundation with SPF in it. I do not know if this has SPF in it. Um, no, this one does not have SPF in it. So I would not recommend using this in the summertime because it's for dry skin. There's also one for oily skin that's pretty good, which I'll be talking about in my oily skin video. And the other video, I mean the other video, wow. The other foundation I use in the, in the winter time is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Healthy Luminous Makeup. It says Broad Spectrum SPF 20, so I use this in the winter time as well. I'm wearing that today. And it's awesome. These are both great for winter. Just if you do not wear this in the summer because it does not have SPF in it. And also, I don't know if you guys knew, but foundation in the summertime if it already has SPF in it you don't have to put sunscreen on your face but a lot of times lotions and stuff already have that in it and I'd recommend using a concealer that's like not oil based this is the Revlon Color Stay Concealer in 04 medium I'm almost out of this I use this in the winter time and I use it all year round really but and always have a primer an eyeshadow primer that's um non-greasy and stuff. This is the Jurgen Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion Anti-Aging One. And always use a makeup setting spray. This is the Jurgen Decay Makeup Setting Spray Long Lasting to help your makeup stay all day. And now onto primers. So the primers that I use, I recently just picked this up. It's the L'Oreal Paris True Match Lumi Liquid Glow Illuminator Prime and Highlight. I recommend putting this in with your foundation because it is sparkly. And if you don't like that type of look, do not use this. I'd rather you go for a Bare Minerals Primetime Foundation Primer. This is just the original one. This is a small size. This is expensive too. And it's just original. It gives like a silicone based feeling. It makes your skin like really silky when you put it on. So that is everything for this video. This was my dry skin routine for winter. This is what I do in the winter time. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the description box. And don't forget to add my Instagram, my Twitter, and my Facebook. Those are all on YouTube, too, so look for those. And stay tuned for the Boxy Charm video. That should be coming soon. And also, I will be doing my oily skin routine in the summertime, like May, June. So that's a couple more months away. That's everything for this video. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.